my bestie's back, I have the world's hottest girlfriend, and I'm the lead of the musical. The only thing left to do is prove to this godforsaken school and town that I'm still the HBIC I've always been. Despite my mother's Margaret White-like efforts to break me. Scratch that. Carrie's mom may have locked her in a closet, and Carrie may have crucified her mother with a bunch of butcher knives, but at least they loved each other. I'm not sure if I can say the same. Cut. I thought I heard an angel singing. I come bearing grand bisou, both literal and figurative. So, how did it go with your mom? Raves across the board for my performance. Also, she and Uncle Claudius will be decamping from Thistle House to live with the ghost of my dead father. You are so hot right now. Tell me something I don't know. See you after the show. Welcome to your new home, babe. I think I'm gonna like it here. My murdering father's will is being read and I'm certain to inherit a sizable nest egg. Wanna come and witness my phoenix-like rise from the depths of poverty? Hell yeah, I'm in. So this is where you've been hiding out. Tony, how did you find me? It took me a minute. Then I thought, this is exactly where I would be if my Nana was in the hospital. Cheryl, what is it? I'm so exhausted. And Tony, I am here for my Nana, but not in the way you think. I want to make sure my mother and Uncle Claudius don't come by to hurt her. Or finish what they started when they pushed her down the stairs. It's Cheryl. I'm off doing something fabu. Leave a message if you must. <sighs> Cheryl, this is like the tenth message I've left. <laughs> you are, I hope you're hearing this, my voice telling you that I'm right there, right by your side. You're not alone, Cheryl. Not ever again. Oh, you poor child. 